Hey everyone, it's Pierre from Experience Bukui. This month, I decided to come to Ono City, a beautiful castle town located in the eastern part of Bukui and famous as a town of temples. This time, my friend Mathilde, who works as a coordinator for international relations at the Ono City Hall, will be showing us around. Hello, Mathilde. Hello, Pierre. Welcome to Ono City. Thank you. Uh, where are we now? This area is so beautiful. So Ono City is a castle town and in each castle town you have Telamatri, so an area with several temples. And here is Ono City uh, Telamatri Avenue, uh -huh. so lined with modern and traditional temples. The Telamatri Avenue of Ono City is rare, even in Japan, as nine types of Buddhism and 16 temples are to be found in one place. It is said that gathering all the temples from the different sects made it easier to govern the castle town. Wow, this is so beautiful. It really feels like a little Kyoto. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. So in Ono, you can uh, learn a lot about Japanese history, Japanese tradition, mm. and you can also experience this. So uh, I would like to bring you to a place where we can make a string of prayer beads using Buddhism. Mm. Are you good? Yeah, yeah okay, sounds so very good to me. Let's go. Let's go. So we are now at the manufacturer of Buddhist household altars, established since 1872. So Japanese families keep at home um, household altar to pray for their devotees. And so right now we're going to make um, a rosary. So uh, it's a string of beads um, used for Buddhism worship. The beads are used when reciting Buddhist prayers to count the prayers. So we first pass the thread through the main bead. It represents the heart of the Buddha, coming together with ours and making us sincere. Then we insert the smaller beads in a particular order, with five regular sized beads on each side of the main one, separated by a smaller bead. <laughs> Because of its history as a town of temples, Ono City is a perfect place to experience this. You then choose a thread of a different color. A good idea is to choose a flashy color to make sure your creation stands out. I went with purple. The next part is tricky. You first tie the two threads together and go on to make a knot like this. Prayer beads differ from one Buddhist sect to another. This type of knot is used in prayer beads of the Zen and Jodo Shu sects. Once you get the hang of it, it becomes much easier. You then make a final knot, cut the extra length and burn the ends to make sure it doesn't go undone. Voila! <laughs> That's it for today's video. Our visit of Ono with our friendly guide Mathilde is not over, however, as we will be back next time to resume our tour of the city and everything it has to offer. You don't want to miss it!